Okay, hi everyone, Alan Denman here. So we're facing a very unique situation here today. And of course, if you've got a narrowboat, you'll know that every so often you've got to black it. But what if your boat uh, is actually in the water? Is there some very clever, devious way you can actually bat black your boat in the water? So I'm gonna introduce you to a very ingenious guy. So just uh, let us know your name and what the situation is. Hi, my name's Derek, uh, this is my boat. Um, we thought of a way of trying to tip the boat over to try and black it without actually pulling it out of the water. So what we've got is actually a 1.5 ton chain. Can, can we move down? Chain, yeah. 1.5 ton chain ratchet, which was tied onto the handlebar. Okay. And put a strap right away under the boat to this ring here and then kept strapping it until obviously the boat's tipped. Yeah. We've got it out of the water about 12 inches. Okay, let's have a look at it then. I'm gonna grab it off yeah, we can it. see this. When do you think this was last out of the water? Oh, I would imagine about 20 years ago. 20 years ago, okay. So 20 years of rust and pitting and you can see that. But you've got a, about, what would you say, 12 inches, 14? 12 to 14 inches out of the water, Okay, yeah. brilliant. And what? so what's the next move then, Derek? The next move, well, hopefully the weather holds out. We're going to get the grinders on it. Uh, we're going to grind it all back to the steel. We're going to get filler on it. Yeah. Fill it. Epoxy, epoxy, filler. epoxy filler. We're going to get it all on it, get, it, get all that rub down. Then we're going to uh, put some primer on it. Yeah. And then we're going to start blacking it once it's all prepped and ready to go. Fantastic. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn the boat up around do the same process on the other side. Brilliant, okay, so I'm just gonna walk down with you then. Let, yeah. Let's have a go, so let's start at the front. And uh, what do you think of the state of the boat? Are you shocked by it? I or am is... very shocked with the state of the boat. Yeah. I'm expecting it to be a lot better than what it is, but, yeah. you know, time, uh, and we can see, time to it. We can see here the, the, the remains of an anode. Uh, anodes are fitted on the boats to really collect the electricity and stop pitting uh, of the hull. Uh, well that, that anode has long died I would say. Yeah. Um, but it's a very ingenious plan. I, I'm very impressed Derek I have to say. You spoke to me a few days uh, a week ago or something other. Like right okay yeah um, you know I won't say too much and then you've done it. So yeah, it's a theory and we're putting that theory into practice. And yeah. it seems like we seem to have worked, well, but uh, we'll see how it works yeah, out at the yeah. end, really. Yeah, okay. But, um, well, we'll come back. You're, you're going to be moored here for a while, then, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, let's just, just, will you just walk down with us yeah, and yeah. let's have a look at the other end? Yeah, about, yeah. So, um, you, we won't really see how much it's tipped over until we go behind the boat. Yeah. But it is in a bit of a sorry state. And, um, Oh, it's amazing how you can transform a boat. But here, here we are. We can actually see that the stern is right out the water here. And now you, everybody can see. If we go back far enough, you get a good idea of how much it's tipping over. So, very ingenious plan. I'll tell you what, Derek. Yeah. I'm going to come back in a week's time. Uh, and I'm going to film you and see how you're doing, all right? Yeah, and then we'll yeah. put you up on YouTube for number two as well. Okay. Uh, all right. Great. Well, thanks very much for talking. I all appreciate right. it. No well, there you are, everybody. What an ingenious plan that is. I've never heard of that before, but first time for everything. That's it. Okay.